हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट क्लास फोर सोशल स्टडीज चैप्टर वन द सोलर सिस्टम एंड द अर्थ एक्सरसाइजेस एंड क्वेश्चंस आंसर लेट स्टार्ट मैच द फीचर्स टू द करेक्ट पिक्चर्स ट्विंकल मैच इट विथ स्टार्स डू नॉट ट्विंकल मैच इट विथ प्लेनेट्स हैव heat and light of their own match it with stars do not have heat and light of their own match it with planets are made up of rocks or gases match it with planets are made up of gases match it with stars choose the correct options first which of these planets is closer to the sun than the earth is tick c venus second which of these planets is closest to the sun tick c mercury third which is the biggest planet in the solar system answer tick c Jupiter fourth which of these divides the earth into two hemispheres tick b equator fifth which of these countries is in the southern hemisphere tick c australia next write t for true r f for falls first stars are huge balls of hot glowing gases yes it is true second venus is called the day star it is false because venus is called the morning star or evening star third neptune is an outer planet yes it is true fourth uranus is the second largest planet it is false jupiter is the third largest planet after jupiter and saturn fifth when the north pole is tilted towards the sun australia has summer it is false north hemisphere experiences summer when north pole is tilted towards the sun and australia experiences winter not summer next name the following first the objects that move around some planets are known as satellite second the red planet mars third the planet farthest from the sun is neptune fourth the planet with 67 known moons answer jupiter fifth the planet with rings around it is saturn next what do these terms mean first orbit the earth and seven other planets go around the sun in fixed path called orbits second axis of rotation the earth spins around an imaginary lens passing through its center this line is called the axis of rotation third equator equator is an imaginary line on the earth which divides the earth into two halves first the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere 
आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन डिस्क्राइब द सोलर सिस्टम आंसर द सन द प्लैनेट्स एंड दियर मून्स बिलोंग टू द सोलर सिस्टम सेकंड डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन द इनर प्लैनेट्स एंड द आउटर प्लैनेट्स आंसर इनर प्लैनेट्स मर्करी वीनस अर्थ एंड मार्स आर कॉल्ड द इनर प्लैनेट्स बिकॉज दे आर क्लोज टू द सन दे आर मेड अप ऑफ रॉक्स आउटर प्लैनेट्स सुपिटर सैटन यूरेनस एंड नेपट्यून आर कॉल्ड द आउटर प्लैनेट्स बिकॉज दे आर फर्दर अवे फ्रॉम द सन दैन द इनर प्लैनेट्स दे आर मेनली मेड अप ऑफ गैसेस क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वाट इज रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ हाउ लॉन्ग डज द अर्थ टेक टू कंप्लीट वन रोटेशन आंसर द स्पिनिंग मूवमेंट ऑफ द अर्थ ऑन इट्स ओन एक्सेस is called rotation the rotation of the earth causes day and night the earth completes one rotation in 24 hours question number 4 what is revolution of the earth how long does the earth take to complete one revolution answer The earth moves around the sun in a fixed path called an orbit. The movement of the earth is called revolution. The revolution of the earth takes about 365 days or 1 year to revolve around the sun. Question number 5. what causes seasons answer the revolution of the earth causes seasons fill in the blanks with the month of the year and the season for this answer remember that the earth's axis is not straight but tilted as the earth revolves around the sun when north pole is tilted towards the sun for a few months the northern hemisphere gets more sunlight has longer days and experiences summer at the same time the south pole is tilted away from the sun causes the southern hemisphere to get less sunlight have shorter days and experiences winter and vice versa we understand it by an example when it is winter in india it is summer in australia all of you know christmas is celebrated on 25th december when india experiences winter but at the same time australia experiences summer season thank you